Good morning, everybody. I'm standing in our living room window with my Matthews craze bow. And this was the scene of a very exciting night last night. Yes, my first buck. This house is still right there. Okay. How long was that hunt? Oh my God, I don't know. 40 <laughs> minutes. All right. We are watching these bucks. We are watching these bucks feed. She shot it. She shot it at 12, 12, 12.3 yards. The little two point is still standing behind the trees there. We're going to give it some time. It's looked like a good shot. We actually think it died possibly on our driveway. Last night, Rich and I are chilling in the living room, having an after work beverage. And uh, Rich got up, I think he was gonna go get us another, and looked out and went, oh my gosh, there's a buck. And there were a couple of does feeding right up here. And we got up and watched, and his little buddy came in, it was a three point that was down there. His buddy came in, which was a two point, and we watched him spar, horns knocking down here and off and on, they were feeding, totally chill. So we watched them about 40 minutes. They were down there chilling out. They ambled around, came up, stood and fed right over here. The three point, which is a shooting buck for us right now, was about 20 yards out. And I'm really comfortable at that 17. So it was my first buck and we wanted it to be a super good shot like you always do on anything you shoot. But we waited. It was really, really hard. <laughs> but we waited. And again, it took about 40 minutes. And finally, it came in. All right, we're walking <laughs> back around the house. And it's funny. This is where we archery practice. <laughs> Here's our deer right here. So we're going to see if we can find some blood trail and arrow. So it finally came in and Rich was ranging it for me. And, uh, you know, I'm so excited. We both are because this is our new build house. And to be able to shoot my first buck from our living room window was such an exciting thought. I was just like, okay, breathe, just breathe. You can do this. Anyway, he ranged it. He finally said, it's at 12.3, 12.3, 12.3. And so I finally, I stood back, pulled back, sighted it in, and let it fly. All right, we found it. It went to... Uh... Oh, about 150 yards from our house. It's a little dark. All right. What are, what are we getting ready to do? We're going to go retrieve my deer. <laughs> yep, it's just across our driveway. And we're going to use the sled across our... Uh, Got to stay hydrated. Yeah our grass because it'll be a lot easier to uh, drag. Woo. Brenda pulling the buck in on Slide the sled. This is awesome. Yep. Really awesome. As you do, once you shoot, you know it's a good shot. We heard it hit the animal. We saw it hit. We knew it was a good shot, um, but it was a little bit back. So we just waited. We waited, we watched. 
it went over here, kind of did the what's happening, wandered around, and it ended up right at just almost dark, right down the hill here. And uh, we were able to go down and take care of it. I shot it and it went straight through, as you can see, it was a through and through and it landed right here. To say I am excited and thrilled is an understatement. We texted my family, a couple of pictures Rich did, and my sister came back and said, what a great way to christen your new house. And it's so true. We are so completely thrilled and blessed to be living right where we are. And I am one lucky lady because I have my husband backing me up, coaching me through it, and helping me clean it up. He did the cleaning up. I'm a pretty good assistant, but he did all the hard work last night and we fell into bed about midnight. So it was a really, really great day. Well, there you saw Brenda getting a nice little three point buck on our property. It's been aging in our fridge now. I think this is day number five or six, and I'm going to cut this up and grind this up so i'm going to take all these big hind quarters front quarters the ribs the back strap the neck meek and i'm going to turn all of this into this all right check out this first back strap i cut out of this thing look at that how beautiful is that? That is some of the best eaten meat that you can find around. And I got one more to pull out. And all I'm doing is taking my knife right across the top of the backbone. You can see the ribs right here. And there's an actual kind of a seam that you can cut all along the ribs clean back here and that's where that back strap lies right up here into the neck cut it here to get this flap and all I'm doing if you can see this I'm just taking the tip of my knife those are the ribs and I'm just coming down at a slight angle there we go That's probably, I don't know, three and a half, four pounds of some good back strap. So there's, there's the two back straps right there. All right, here is your rack of venison ribs. It's where Brenda's arrow went through. It's a total pass through. But even not for a real big deer, there's some decent meat on these ribs. So I got one more side to do. And we're gonna have a mess of venison ribs. And then I'm gonna probably chunk this up and I'm gonna make me some venison broth. It's gonna be great that I can add to chilies and stews. And guys, I have done this with this knife, this little handsaw, and this knife. I have no special equipment, but it just goes to show you, you can get a really nice cut, even with just a little handsaw, and get yourself some nice rack of ribs. All right, now for the main, the main, bulk of the meat. This is one hind quarter. I'm guessing it's like 22, 25 pounds. Um, you can do a lot with this. Roasts, steaks, burger. Um, I'm going to cut the uh, shanks off. All four legs, I saved them. The calves, if you will. And I'm going to slow cook them um, like osobuco or a... Um, a, a braised venison lamb shanks with lots of red wine, garlic, and vegetables served with roasted garlic potatoes. Put these in a Dutch oven for about six hours until they just completely fall apart. 
excellent VR. But this is the bulk. And again, guys, the reason I'm kind of doing this is to show you that at home, you guys can do this at home. Um, and this is all I have. And again, you can kind of see certain lines where you can cut your roasts out or where you can cut steaks. I am a novice at best, but I have been doing it for quite a few years. I do have my own grinder. And I got to tell you, the pride of butchering your own meat, wrapping your own meat, and then cooking, um, there's a lot of pride in it. So, because you could say you actually, it just never left your hands the moment it hit the ground. So, um, I'm going to get to cutting this up to some steaks, roast, uh, trim for burger. Okay guys, we are completely done processing Brenda's deer. These are all the ribs that we're going to pressure cook and then we're going to dry rub them and then put them on the smoker. I actually saved the femur bones because I am going to do... What am I going to do? I saved the femur bones because I'm actually going to roast them and we're going to do bone venison bone marrow on some little little uh, crustinis. Here are all the shanks of the deer. And I'm gonna do my version of like braised lamb shanks, but obviously use venison, which has got lots of red wine, tons of garlic, potatoes, carrots, celery, served over mashed potatoes. And here I have these two beautiful roasts. Those are gonna be nice. Here's the heart, got a special project for that, but I'm not gonna say what that is just yet. And then of course, what I consider the star of the show, the back straps, beautiful back straps. We have 36 packages of burger. And then over here is all the spine and some hip bones and I'm going to make venison bone broth out of these. Very little waste, I mean, right down to bones and stuff to make bone broth, which I'm gonna add to the chilies and all the stews, which is gonna be fantastic. So stay tuned. So out throughout uh, the rest of September, October, November, we're gonna be cooking a lot of this and we're gonna be showing you how we cook it. But for now, we gotta finish wrapping and then we got to install some windows. Uh, roasted venison bones for bone broth. Look at that. 